For this question, you have to understand the difference between usable versus rentable square feet. Usable square feet is the entire area that the tenant will occupy for business. Um, you might have part of your usable space that are janitorial closets or bathrooms or whatever. Um, and then the difference between that and rentable square feet is rentable square feet is the area um, that is all the stuff that you're going to have, private offices and cubicles and that kind of thing, but also the corridor that may be common for other businesses that are sharing that, meeting spaces, restrooms, uh, all those areas are also included in rentable. So you're getting your space for your office, but you're also using this common space. And what we're talking about here is the load factor. So the load factor is um, how you can calculate the rentable square feet. So you take the, build, the building rentable square feet and divide by the building usable square feet, and that gives you a load factor. And so if you had 100,000 uh, square feet of rentable and 85 of usable, so that means that there's 15,000 square feet of closets, bathrooms, stairwells, that kind of thing. If you divide those two, you get 1.15, and that gives you your load factor. And then you multiply that by the tenant's usable square feet to come up with the total rentable square feet. So if you wanted to have 5,000 usable square feet in a building with a load of 1.5, you would take 5,000 times 1.5, and the rentable space would be 5,750, because you're sharing some of the common spaces. Um, and then companies then can go around and look at different buildings and decide, we want, we know we want 5,000 square feet, but what building is actually going to cost us more? Because if you have a higher load factor, then of course it's gonna cost you more to rent that building. So that's what this question is about. And then also included in that is using the uh, square footage needed per person if you're going to put cubicles in your office space. This document I just went through will also be posted on the site so that if you want to go through and read it yourself at your leisure that would be fine too.